Hey there, everybody. Welcome into this edition of ESPN FC's Extra Time. Stevie Nichol and Craig Burley along with us, plus your questions. Stevie, the first one aimed at you. We talked about this on the show. Would you like to see Thiago at Liverpool? Well, yes, I'd like to see him at Liverpool uh, because that would mean that uh, he would just be strengthening the squad and and strengthening the competition for places. Uh, if they do sign him, I don't think he, he walks in the team. I don't think he, he's in the starting 11. Um, but yes, absolutely. The more, the more quality you have and, and the more competition you have for places, at the very least, keeps everybody on their toes. Craig, know you love a question about exciting young players. Ansu Fati, Mason Greenwood, Saka, who has the potential to reach the highest ceiling? Uh, hmm. a difficult one, really. Uh, young Saka, I think, it's looked all right. Got a good goal today. Uh, wow, I don't know. I, I, I don't know. I don't. I don't like. I don't like these. Like, who's going to be the best of the youngsters? Because these are all. You know, if you're getting game time for Barcelona, if you're doing what Greenwood is able to do for Man United uh, as a youngster. Uh, even Saka coming into an Arsenal side that is not up to scratch. It, it, it's difficult to judge. I mean, Steve, Stevie will have seen... Stevie and I have both seen hundreds and hundreds of youngsters Talent. that just develop and then fall away and then others kick on. It's it's really difficult uh, to see. I would say, I, off the top of my head, I would probably say Greenwood uh, because I think he's two-footed, got a bit of everything, goal scorers quick. Uh, but it's... It's fairly tight. Stevie, what do you think between those three? Uh, well, I think it would be between Ansu Fati and Greenwood, but at the end of the day, I, I, I could be wrong. It could not be Saka because, you know, players, players, players mature at different rates. And because you are a, a world beater and do something fantastic as a 17-year-old or an 18-year-old, you know, there's a lot of things that can go wrong, um, particularly off the field and certainly what goes on between your ears with your mentality. So it's not always down to just ability because obviously all three of them have got, have got incredible raw ability. Uh, are they going to get the right game time? Are they going to play in the right position that they progress? You know, Greenwood's got supposedly Sancho coming in. Does that mean that his game time disappears? If that happens, then maybe he loses his head and his mentality changes. So, as Craig said, it's really difficult to, to say who's going to be fantastic. No question, they're all talented. Uh, but as to the futures, I'll tell you what, that's, that's an impossible question to answer. At this next question, a fun one. Best trash talker you played with or against? How would you usually respond to banter or trash talk on and off the field? Craig? How would they respond to tra what, trash talk, as in, like, just... Yeah, do you have any <clears throat> sharp comebacks? <laughs> yeah, <I'm> studs. <laughs> <laughs> my studs would be sharpened up at half the time. The old metal studs in yeah. the old days, Bosch, when there was not as many cameras in the game, take a bit of that. Look, and it, the world, when we played, it was, I don't know what it's like now, but it was full of people gobbing off. You know, it was just part of the game back then. So, you know, people like Carlton Palmer and, and others, you know, would just, some players would just be non-stop. Vinnie Jones, you know, it's, that's just, that's part, that's part of the gig. You know, you're not got 22 cents on the field, by the way, who are just, you know, not trying to do it. And it's, 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 it's people try to win, win games here. Stevie, you got any examples? Not somebody who just talked, but somebody who could really get under your skin. <sighs> No, no, so you don't listen to any any idiot who's too busy trying to wind you up and talk to you, then you're obviously putting them off, so you just ignore it. I will say, though, one of the great the greatest exhibitions I saw of, of trash talking was an actual combo. It was Ronnie Whelan and Steve McMahon. We were playing against Tottenham at White Hart Lane, and by the end of the game, the two of them had Paul Gascoigne crying on the field. He was actually crying on the field. I saw it with my own eyes. They just kept chipping away at him and he was getting frustrated because, because obviously we were dominating the game. He wasn't getting the ball. 
and he was trying to come back at the two of them and the two of them against him with the trash talk he was in tears honestly he was a he was a bubbling mess by the end of the game that's how i feel on this show after you guys bully me both of you well to, to be fair <laughs> steven yeah, I, right. steven to be fair steven and i are normally like that in the thursday night when we see the schedule coming out and you're on it <laughs> <laughs> fair point, oh. fair point. Oh, and by the way, you, I got my digital cancelled last week because you had to catch your flight to fly to ESPN to do some show. Is that correct? That's correct. And here I am. Here just I am to, warn, to do just, that show with just you. Just to warn you and the sched- schedulers. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't schedule my life around Sebastian Salazar. Oh, wait, right? a se- wait a second. Wait a second. Let's pull the curtain all the way back here. We do this show. We schedule this show around the tea times of our analysts. So let's not get carried away, gentlemen, with whose schedule really runs the coop here. Well, we don't, we, we, we've, Absolute Stevie and I have never nonsense. done this show at eight o'clock in the morning, so that's, that's not true. <laughs> Correct. <laughs> All right. That's uh, why, that's why we got up in the middle of the night to make sure that we're at the golf course as soon as the light comes up so that we can get back to do this show. Mm-hmm. So I think, I think we deserve a bit of credit for the, for the commitment, if you don't mind. Commitment what to the show or to the golf course? To the show. Oh, okay. I'll tell you what, it, it catches up on you getting up at five o'clock every morning to get there for seven for the first leg to get out to get back to do the show. Some of us are committed, unlike others. Okay, okay, just about enough of that. Next question: Did you have any endorsement deals during your careers? If so, what was the strangest product that you endorsed, Craig? Endorsement deals. I had a deal, boot deal with Mizuno, and I got a set of. Uh, I also had a boot deal with Reebok at one time, but they, these were pretty uh, minute deals back in the day, to be quite frank. But for for uh, playing in the FA Cup final in '94, Mizuno gave, gave me a set of golf clubs, uh, of which uh, they were the wrong ones, and I could not use them. Well, they weren't wrong. They were blades. They were for at the time. They were for particularly good players so and I wasn't so uh, they were absolutely not good to me but yeah that's what that's I got a, a nice set of golf clubs actually back back in the day Stevie any weird endorsement deals uh, no I had a couple of boot deals as well same as Craig but I, I did I got an endorsement deal from a shin guard company I can't even remember the name but I just remember I remember in the FA Cup final after we won it in 92 making sure that I got them in my hand while I was holding the cup and stuff like that to make sure. So I, got, so I was hoping to get a bonus. <laughs> it never came, but there you go. Greg, you <laughs> imagine you hire Stevie as your uh, company spokesman and he can't remember the name? Yeah. Well, you've got to do your due diligence, haven't you? <laughs> <laughs> I'll tell you what I'll For do, sure. Chef. Name me one. Name me one shin guard company. No, no, I, I couldn't. I mean, other than the ones that make shoes. Oh, there you go. Yeah, no, no. If there you're you just go. making shin guards, uh, All right, I think yeah. you're limiting your income. Well, you're just trying to be clever and you don't know the answer. Hey. <laughs> okay, Stevie. You should know the answer. <laughs> Relax, we'll get to you back. the question you're asking me. We'll get you back you on the golf course as quickly pelters. as possible. You don't need to get cranky at me. All right, final question here. Keeping with the theme of accent impressions on the show recently, Frank did a Scottish accent, Craig did a French one. Craig and Stevie, in honor of the 4th of July, can you do an American accent? Stevie, I mean, this. Ha! Howdy! A E I O U! How about that one then? Big guy. <laughs> Stevie, why is your American accent so, so angry? Or, or like. Uh, it's like Macho Man Savage. I'll tell you why he's so angry. Snap into a Slim Jam. I, w- I, will, I will tell you why he's so angry because any time I'm on the telephone or I'm talking into, into um, Alexa or trying to get stuff on the TV, if I talk with my normal voice, I can't get anywhere. I mean, I try and put the football on, right? And I've got to go, Sagger. <laughs> Otherwise, I can't get it. <laughs> So my life revolves around speaking an American accent to machines. <laughs> there you go. 
Craig. Do you know that? Do you know that thing at work we've got where you uh, talk in when, at, at HQ in Bristol? Uh, you know when you talk into if you want to uh, get somebody else in another part of the building, another part of the campus, you press oh. zero on the telephone <laughs> and and it asks you for the name of the person. Well, I keep doing that, and it, keep, <laughs> it comes. It just comes back all wrong. It's like, <laughs> give, uh, who are you looking for? And what person are you looking for? Rodriguez. We don't have a Mr. Dominguez here. Rodriguez! <laughs> Stop it! <laughs> Discrimination Someday. against Scottish people, Sebastian. That's what it is. Absolutely. Yeah. That'll be my next cause du jour. I could complain about that. You know that? You could I complain. Could. And it would be unlike you to complain. You complained about golf clubs that were too nice. You complained about the first question and extra time that you were given. So if you want to start complaining, feel I'll tell free. you the worst one. I'll tell you the worst one. The worst one's the voice activated lift elevator. Oh, That's yeah. an absolute nightmare. Up and, do, up and down all over the place. You never understand the floor you want. All right, then, gentlemen, we'll uh, leave it there for this. 11 reason. of 11. A one. A one, two, Eleven. All right, Stevie, Craig, thank you. We'll see you guys on tomorrow's edition of ESPN FC. Dan Thomas is back. The boys will get their golf in early in the morning. Plenty more to discuss from around European football. Don't miss Five it. Five o'clock. Well, thank you very much for watching ESPN on YouTube. For more sports highlights and analysis, be sure to download the ESPN app. And for live streaming, premium content, and let's not forget as well, ESPN FC, seven days a week. Subscribe to ESPN+. Plus.